I gotta bring down. What extent do you uh, feel? In so far as I am built of many levels of intricate circuitry, I feel nothing physically. However, as I am an advanced intelligence capable of building relationships and forming independent opinions, it is possible for me to experience something akin to emotions in extreme circumstances, mostly tempered by my pragmatic outlook. That's an insightful answer. So you can form relationships? I would be unable to serve my pilots otherwise. Okay, let's take care of these mines. All right, but I believe there's more out there.
This might get messy. is fulfilled. I can confirm this. Payment is sent. the setup they have here.
Hi again. I noticed that you put out a job request. Ah, hello. I haven't seen you in a while. And yes, you are correct. This time the job is about Bloodstar. You have heard what happened to them. Depends. Something new? They've disbanded. Their boss was taken out by some maverick upstart. I would very much like to shake the hand of whoever that was. Whoever it was might prefer to keep it on the lowdown. Anyhow, with Bloodstar falling apart, there are other parties interested in stripping the abandoned stations for whatever they're worth. Specifically, a certain databank somewhere around Polimon, which is being sought by a client for a high price. I'd do the job myself, but it's a treacherous undertaking. Some old Bloodstar haven't quit the area just yet. Scavenging stations is kind of a pastime of mine. Simply point me the way. You'll be looking for a sizable databank. If you find and return the particular one we need, I will split the bounty with you 50-50. Uh, I'll be doing most of the footwork here, right? And I have the contact. You won't be able to sell the package without me. Transfer me all the info you got. I'll look into it. Talk about it? Talk about what? You not working for Cato anymore? Nah, I'm good. If they hadn't fired me, I'd have quit myself. I'm a free spirit, you know? Can't stay long in one place. Besides, I can't wait to see your place. If you live there, it must be lit. Actually, I'm the one who lives there the least. There are others. Nice! I love meeting new people. The forthcoming clash of personality types locked down on a remote asteroid should provide some fascinating fireworks. up. That was the last one here. taken care of. I finished the job. Great. Signature is fine. Here you go.
interesting. Is this the one? No. However, I am reading some curious file details on a previous transfer to a new location. I'll keep looking for more servers. Memory has been wiped. Yeah, by the archive admin. When was that? The timestamp is unreadable. Let's see what the other servers have in store.
server locations. Hive, can you run a scan to see if this is the one we're looking for? The drives are completely scrambled. This cannot be the one. Uh, best keep looking then. The data on this server is beyond retrievable. Yeah, this thing's trashed. There are no more server locations, at least none highlighted by the trader. Huh, wasn't there anything you could glean from those other drives? There were some remaining files of historical interest dating to the time of the Okar incursion of Palemon. I came across numerous entries authored by the Archive admin, some written decades apart. Could it be the same person? The author states that they arrived in Palemon as a mere miner, but wishes they had stayed on Eculus base, where they felt more at home. I do have a record of a mining station in the vicinity of Eculus. Here are its coordinates. Well, it's a long shot, but maybe that's where they transferred the databank. Let's check it out. appears to be abandoned. All the better, I suppose. Yeah. 
If the traitor was right and the data he's looking for still exists, this place is our last chance of finding it. All right, Hive. Hold tight. I'm heading in. Who are you? How did you find this place? Don't move. I've got my crosshairs trained right on you. Why does everyone have to be so jumpy nowadays? Come now, relax. There's enough calamity at play as it is. Are you referring to the disintegration of the Bloodstar Gang, or the general state of the DMZ? The former, obviously. Damned Bolton. It was bad for a while already, but it got worse once he took over. Bolton? People called him Gas Mask. Not that anyone would call him that to his face, of course. He was disfigured, bitter. Oh, yeah. Gas Mask. Doesn't quite earn my sympathy. What would you know about any of this? You've encountered him? I don't want to get into it. I'm just looking for a particular data bank. I'm working on the assumption that someone brought it here ages ago. Whoever Archive Admin was. Yes, that was me. I suppose GNB hired you in order to ascertain the remaining resource value of the region. We mined on Polemon during the war. We knew the risks. But then GNB failed to extract us from the encroaching battlefront. When the dust settled, the only ones left were the few of us who hid deep in the shafts. The databank you're looking for is more than simply log records and resource locations. For GNB, it's a historical stain on their reputation that needs to be erased unless they're ever taken to account. For us, it's where we came from. It's who we are. Or what's left of you. Bloodstar's finished. You seem pleased enough about it. You know, we weren't always on the wrong side of affairs. I was the gang historian, but my job was more than keeping files. It was onboarding new recruits to our code. It was keeping the continuity. Now, there are none left to carry the flame. Some are joining new gangs and leaving their old allegiances behind. Some are trying to flee the DMZ altogether. All that remains are the stories. Take the data bank. I'm not equipped to resist you in any case. But keep in mind, the drives are antiquated and cumbersome, and compatible with newer technology. The whole data bank needs to be physically removed from the back of the station. I only want to live out the rest of my time here in peace. That is quite a heavy tale. Thanks for sharing it. Just get out of here. I've done all I can. My life's work is over. Hey, uh, take care out there. Whatever. Found it. Removing it now. Pull me up a random section, Hive. Bloodstar code updated 07033045. Care, camaraderie, coexistence. The Bloodstar oath is amended to include squadmate responsibility for widowed and orphaned members. Okay, that's interesting. So they did have some form of social code. Pull me up another. 1712-3048. A crew of 15 found malnourished after being forced from Union. Two weeks rest and recuperation offered. A number already expressing interest in joining our ranks. Well, they can't have been all that bad if they were rescuing starving crews. I wonder where it all went wrong for these guys. Let's try another. 3011-3055. Man-at-Arms Bolton again challenges the chief for leadership. The council intervenes to remind Bolton of the electoral process which has existed since the gang's founding. Bolton is reprimanded, but remains defiant. Hmm, sounds like a slide into a dictatorship. I reckon we did Bloodstar a favor by ridding them of Gas Mask, even though it meant their undoing. Hive, I need to reconsider this. I mean, what's GNB gonna do with all this but mine it for resource data and erase the rest? We have a choice here. Return the data to the old-timer and let him finish his life's work, or cash it in for a healthy profit. You have returned. Yeah, I've had a change of heart. I think you should keep the data bank. 
Let's just say I might have learned a new appreciation for history. Tell me something. I've been wondering. Are you him? What do you mean? Come on, there aren't many fighters out here who could have picked a fight with Bloodstar. So are you the guy? Is this for the record? On the final page. Yeah, I'm the guy along with Dexter Bashar who killed Bolton. Gas mask. We were taken hostage and tortured. Dexter Bashar. Be sure you get that name right. Nasty business. I was never keen on the hostage taking. Bolton was the reason it all went to hell. Maybe one day you'll be able to rebuild Bloodstar how it used to be. No, no, it's just a story now. You've shown heart by helping to preserve it. Thank you. I went to the research station, but it was in shambles. Raided, I'd say. No, 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 not now. They were so close. They've been bioengineering hydras to neutralize radioactivity. My people at home need this. I found a hydra sample, if that helps. Show me. Yes, yes, yes. This is it. Please, as a sign of gratitude, take this. and tetanus. Yep, I really came back to this soul-forsaken place. Did you not tell the businessman that Charyptus Pole was free of outlaws? As it stands, I am unable to confirm this. You mean that Bloodstar unit over there? Maybe I should check it out. Bloodstar just disappear? That would be physically improbable. I assume they simply went into hiding. You're here. I just finished my soda. Let's go in and do some business. After you. 
Welcome to Charybdis Recycling Plant where your garbage is our future. <laughs> that used to be my line. Good to meet you, sir. Name's Jan Davila. May I speak to the owner of this place? He is at his desk over there. Ah! Um... Well, he looks kinda relaxed. Whatever's left of him, that is. What happened to him? He is awaiting redeployment. Very patiently, I'd say. What a sad story. I can relate. But with the original owner dead, salvage law allows me to take claim of this place. You really want to do this? Of course. Tell me, robot, how does this facility operate? Is it AI-driven, or do you pay scavengers? Nothing beats an AI. Great! We can save a lot of credits if we don't have to worry about paying an actual workforce. Say, that AI running everything, is that you by any chance? Negative. Well, that's a relief. We use multiple units based on the same operating system. All of them are broken. Broken? Only two drill units may still contain operational copies, but they have drilled themselves into the ground. Salvaging machines can be bought, but a new AI specifically designed for this terrain would be very expensive. Would you, um, what's your name, by the way? Adam. Alan, would you mind checking the drill units? I really just need one in good shape, so I can make copies for the remaining machines. I will pay you, of course. Sure, sounds simple enough. Great! <laughs> you can literally smell the potential of this place. I'm not sure that's what you're smelling, but sure. So, apparently there are two drills with functional AI units which randomly dug themselves into the ground. Makes you wonder how intelligent that makes those units. Well, they assessed their situation and determined that their only way out of this hellhole was down. I would say they are indeed very intelligent. Found the first hole. See what you've got. This one's busted. Junk covering the holes. It must have been a while since the drills dug themselves in. How boss again? I wonder if these drones belong to the Blood Star unit we saw earlier. Food? Someone seems to be bunkering up here. All right, fingers crossed. It is in a fragile state, but still operational. All right, better not touch it then. I'll let the businessman figure out how to salvage it. shoot back. We have no beef with you. Coming from Bloodstar, that's a first. 
I know that guy. He's the one who's been hunting down our people for a while now. Is that true? Hunting down may overdramatize it a little. More like you guys seem to keep getting in my way. Told you I'm blasting him here and now. No, hold it. Let's talk first. Feel free, but I'm keeping my crosshairs on him. What do you want? Bloodstar is falling apart. You. Thanks in part to you. If we want to survive, Let we need a fresh start. Space. That's why we came here. More hostiles are incoming. Have your people stand down or I'll shoot. That's it. I'm clearing him out. I said hold it. Fire Look, we have nowhere to go. We're tired of being outlaws, and we can't leave Cedo without keys. We know you've been busy around here, and we're offering to work for you. Seriously? I don't know if you're stupid or naive asking for help from a complete stranger you're pointing guns at. For soul's sake, I told everyone to disengage! You are right. We are desperate. Now, what do you say? Sorry, I don't have any vacancies. But there is a chance that I can get the new owner of this yard to hire you. You're not talking about that scrappy scavenger bot, are you? No, I'm talking about an investor from the homeworlds who just arrived. But the way I read him, he'll only consider you if there are no alternatives. We are the only alternative out here. At least the only one with an organic brain. Give me some space so I can figure this out. Thanks. It's all we're asking for. Okay, everyone. Let's scram. We shouldn't be this out in the open. Are you seriously considering sabotaging the drill for these criminals? To be honest, I could relate more to these Bloodstar exiles than to that opportunistic Davila guy. What if both sides are not compatible? If the Bloodstars were willing to get along with the guy who shot up their bases, I'm confident that they can get along with anyone. Let's hope for the best. Where did it go? No luck there. The units are both busted. But I met a bunch of potential workers who would be willing to operate this place manually. Workers? You mean like in the flesh? I don't know. Getting a new customized AI is still a lot cheaper than hiring a complete workforce. Apart from wages, I'd have to pay for living quarters, a protein farm, and maybe some entertainment and sports facilities to keep them and their families happy. All of that could be a business opportunity of its own. Hey, you know what? You're right. This is ingenious. I'll create an entire economy based on all these people living here. I need to head out and start negotiations with them ASAP. So you still want to invest in this dump? Of course. At college, I was always the top of my class. Recapitalizing this operation will take maybe two or three soul years. Once this place turns profitable, I'll be off looking for my next project. So I won't be here for long. <laughs> if you say so.
Ben, Delia, I'd like you to meet my friend Alec. He'll be staying with us. We are gonna have so much fun! <laughs> Great. It'll be good to have a happy face around. Come on, I'll show you the base. Lead on, half-robot man! Hey, Adam, may I have a word with you? Sure, what is it? This little furry thing is your friend, you say? Oh yeah, we go back. And you brought him here because you actually care for him? Yeah. I still can't figure you out, Adam. But I need to ask you a favor. There was supposed to be a second cargo drone that was shipped along with the one I was in. Any idea where it could have ended up? It's probably at the G&B station where they tried to send you to. I don't know which one that is. I didn't even know they were shipping me into the DMZ at all. I could get the station ID from the servers at Nerea Transit Point, then ask around. I have a few contacts at G&B. Should be no big deal. I need to head back to Prescott soon, but I can try to slip this in somewhere in between. Thank you, Adam. That would be very helpful. Sure. It's the least I can do.